So you feel stuck, right? So I brought everybody together and what's interesting, I love these mentoring events because all the young women, as they're talking about their problems, um, I asked them to bring the biggest problem you're trying to solve. Everyone has 20 problems. Right. But what is the biggest problem you're trying to solve? And everyone around the table was nodding as each young woman spoke. Everyone <laughs> had a different, different one. But what really concerned me is that I felt like the quarter life crisis that I wrote about in my first book was following these young women well into their 30s, even beyond. And just feeling a little lost, unsure about maybe their chosen profession, not sure what the next step is, and also a lot of questions about dealing with work-life balance. Yeah. And, and they think there's a perfect answer to how you deal with work-life balance. And um, I actually have a really good piece of advice uh, that I learned um, that I, I incorporated there, which is to not think of work-life balance just as every single day, but maybe over the course of your career, because there will be times. And for example, my assistant now, and she's experiencing one of those times where as you're rolling out a book, you do not have work-life balance, you have work. And I like told her that when it gets to be April and this book is behind us, you're not going to know what to do with all the extra. <laughs> right. All the free time. Um, so yeah, so I brought them all together. We, we shared all of that and I tried to get them to focus on, okay, well, if that's the one big problem you're trying to solve, the next thing is deciding how to solve it and right. taking some action. And I, I, you know, the title is everything will be okay, but that's not true if you just sit back and do nothing. Yeah, it is action oriented, right? I mean, it's, yes. a, it's about. Yes.